It's the best cut podcast you ain't never heard of. You already know who I am. This is Latours. Matter of fact, aka don't call me Latours no more. Call me the Blueprint. Oh, see, like Corey, you talk to easy. You said what? Quit cheating, I said nigga. Jim Jones. Hey, that's crazy, man. That just shows side age, man. He said that's Jim Jones. That's easy. E boys in the motherfucking hood. What up, what up, oh, what up? Yeah, you already know this. No, I'm about to say age, though. No, no, no it's a no, different class. Yes. He's before oh. the computer. Oh, oh, before what? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this nigga said I'm a typewriter nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <clears throat> what up, what up? You already know what it is. This is a fantastic episode of the best podcast you never heard of. You already know this is Latours, a.k.a. The Blueprint. We're about to have a fantastic show. Our uh, co-host, Corey, he on his way. He said he's crossing Keystone right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. what he said? He had to make you U-turn go get his dentures. <laughs> we about to have a fantastic show. Uh, I got my homie in here, man, my brother, Sa. What up? Hey, we're back. We took, we took a week off. Uh, you know, I had to he get choked a little fry. He had a fire ass <laughs> intro, man. But hey, he, he, he aside of the practice player, <laughs> he didn't who performed well in practice. There we go. Hey, we get also, on the team. Go ahead, say what? I said, have to get on the team. But Shout out to Saad. He back. He was on. He was on hiatus last week. Uh, and we're gonna get into your hiatus. Yeah. We're gonna get into the hiatus. We got the homie, uh, the producer extraordinaire, Javar, he, 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 Superstar Jones. Superstar Jones, finally in the building. Finally in the building. Javar got him about 10 hats and shit. Javar, it's fucked up. It's <laughs> fucked up, man. He got the, the, the Griffo stash, man. Like 10 bags hey, in one. Javar's the ultimate <laughs> nigger today. <laughs> he got... It just don't look right, though. He got that fucking white boy hat on and grip on. <laughs> she just don't mix. I got the... Uh, that's a Yankee. He got that Lou Gehrig Yankee though. He wears it like he wears it like. Say what? I said I don't mess with baseball like that, but like that. You wearing that shit like Lou Gehrig used to wear his shit. It's like all them white boys. They run out here. That's how they used to wear that shit. Shout out to the greatest baseball franchise in the world, New York Yankees. I mean, who? Red Sox. And the side, he's just saying that, just say it. I'm not saying that, just say that. Name three, name three Red Sox oh, in Red history. Sox. Three Red Sox? That's in easy. history. Go ahead. Pedro. Pedro who? Martinez. See, y'all got to treat like an idiot. Who else? Kurt Schilling with the bloody sock on the mound. We believed in him. See, when we was down 3-0, my roommate said it's over. He said it's over. I said, well, fuck, I'm just going to watch because I just want to get a win. I've always been that type of player. Man, give me the other one. I don't need this fucking narrative. Give me so the we fuck. came back 3-0 to win the series. We stole second base. You can't even tell me who stole second base on y'all. Go. I can't remember. Go his third name, one. He's Go. a mixed breed nigga. Go for the third one, man. Oh, Manny Ramirez or David Ortiz. Well, look, yeah, I'm talking about, well, okay, since, or, since, uh, since you since you there at Tech. Since you're there, this is the best franchise ever. Best franchise. Name, name a name a era of Red Sox players before that one. I started when Manny got traded from Cleveland. I was a Manny Ramirez fan because somehow uh, David Justice got moved to Cleveland. I tried to hold. So I connect back to Atlanta Braves. David Justice came from Atlanta Braves, so it connected between favorite players. I've always been like that. Same with the Lakers. I put Kobe a lot of times above the Lakers. You're talking about how. I tried, I tried to hold us up real quick, try to prove him wrong like he ain't know some shit. I asked for three, he started naming all kinds of shit, and he embarrassed me. But fuck the Red Sox, they're nowhere near. You can't compare them to a Yankees. Can you be honest? I ain't talking about what we like now, let's just be actual. Let's be Not the organization. The players have always been toe for toe. The organization no, the Yankees have been killed. No, they haven't. They, they haven't had Bernie Williams. Uh, you talk Pedro Martinez. I mean, it's the money. You talk That's the Roger Clemens. how you go about it. They run about it a little different with the money. They spend it. Everybody want to be a Yankee. All the Boston players ended up in Penn It's strike. like Johnny Damon. Red Sox are the Spurs almost. They no, they the Celtics. They the Celtics. 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 Yeah. yeah. Not as much money as LA, but they still, you know. They still, and they still got us this year. I'm a baseball fan. Baseball actually was the very first sport I ever played. For real? Hell yeah. But when it's coming up, though, that's what kids play baseball. Uh, still like black kids don't play baseball no more. Not really. You ain't never played. It was hard for us to play. It was only one sport where the equipment cost too much. You get the equipment package, soccer, yeah, shorts, expensive. and cleats. 
But baseball, baseball only one thing I had a barber club. For real? They yeah. want a uniform, the hat, the this, that. Yeah, you went, that's because the school you went to. We play. You, you talking about school? Mm-hmm. Y'all didn't have a little club? league? Nah, by then we're older. We try to get into baseball. We're in middle school. Like baseball is a sport you can learn in middle school, though. But we know how to play. Right. We by just the time, know fundamentals of uh, infield. By the time I, uh, by the time I lost enough you know, weight to start playing sports, <laughs> you was I was a fat boxing. Kid. Yeah, I was fat as hell when I started boxing. Hell I yeah. didn't know that shit. You don't even like you got the <laughs> physique. <laughs> Not that I look at your physique, <laughs> but you don't even look like you got the build of a nigga. I'm telling people where they be like, oh, you can eat anything you want. Arcade. Was you like D? I'll get fat now. Yeah, was you like D? I, I was probably, yeah, damn near. Like D. <laughs> that's what's up, that's what's up, man. Uh, baseball, man, that, that shit f- more fun playing than it is uh, watching. I, always, I say, though, I told you that it's hard to, like, pick up baseball in middle school because baseball built around time. That's, like, one of the main sports that's built around time and hand-eye coordination, all, like that. I, uh... I go through the batting cages now, me and my daughter went. I was scared to go in the fast pitch. It's crazy, though, but I actually hit better than I did last time. But I'd be scared because I don't want to get hit in the hands. I'd yeah. be scared of that shit. All we yeah. did was baseball. I don't know why, but uh, it's because we had baseball field from around the house. I mean, soccer you couldn't play growing up. It took a minute, two on two. You know, I had three brothers. Basketball we could play, but Atlanta was a baseball city, so everything was brave, Atlanta brave, so. What well, uh, did y'all, it's like, I picture, like, I don't, like, they done made movies about everything except the all-black Muslim baseball team from Atlanta. We need to tackle that motherfucker. It'd be like, uh, what's that swimming shit? Pride. We can get some shit called. What you talking about? There's an all-black team from Atlanta? You was on it, nigga. No, we I never gonna, played. I oh, we gonna embellish this oh, bullshit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna talk about this shit off air. Oh. We're gonna present that shit as a fucking true story based on the true story. Soccer. Soccer is a true story. Y'all win anything. Hold on, what can we gotta make did y'all win anything? Did y'all beat any white teams? <laughs> oh we got a motherfucking story. America like a fantasy. This is Georgia, <laughs> man. That's the first time I was ever called a nigga. You know how LeBron said that's the first time I ever seen a white person when he played sports. He said that in a recent interview. He said that and he fucking grew up in Ohio. Yeah. This that's how it was for soccer. We Akron, Ohio, I think they got a pretty diverse uh I've never been there, so I, I won't sit here called a nigga liar like I know a city better him, but I didn't know the, like how the demographics were. I thought they would have ran into somebody at public school. Too. What about like in Atlanta and shit? When you say uh, that was the first time, you said that was the first time you've been around white people or the first time you heard niggas? First time been around white people? No shit. Well, we went to private school, private most of the time. So, like your, black folks there. so the neighborhood you lived in was just all black, then the school was black too. Neighborhood was no kids. I'm yeah. Like only kid. So we thought till we got about teenage years. We weren't allowed to go around the corner. Wait a minute, so y'all only knew each other? Yeah, me and my brother, that's it. Oh, y'all was in the village. Y'all was fucking in the village. village. That's why we wanted to go to school so bad. It's like, man, I can't wait to see my own. Because it ain't nothing. You know, Alarm clock, niggas ain't been asleep from the night before. <laughs> wait a minute. That's, <laughs> hey, y'all was secluded, man. I'm secluded. It's a wonder you ain't out here wowing the fuck out. I got to start cutting you some slack when you do go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we was allowed to catch the bus. Nigga. We go out of town and we see people, but he never say nothing. Like, what y'all like? That's some weird shit, man. Like, do you think it? Because you ain't, I, I attest to the fact that you're not a weirdo. Like, as far as I know, you ain't weird. Everybody got some weird shit going on in their life that their friends don't know about. But from what I can tell, it's just you don't fucking cut rabbits' heads off for no shit like that and carve a crescent moon in their belly. But look, though, the way you was brought up and you got a son, man, so it, it's, uh, you know what I'm saying? You're an expert as far as I'm concerned in this answer. Do you, would you see a benefit in raising your son that same way? Yeah, I see a benefit in it. It backfires too. In what way? I think if you get exposed to stuff, you, you can you can deal with it a little easier later. Yeah, sure. Some shit know. where if you can just see it earlier, you know how to handle and navigate a little bit better. And then it's like, man, you don't want kids to see everything. So it's a, it's a give and take. Which side are you going to choose? I don't know. That's, that's interesting. A lot of parents got to make that decision. Yeah. I think it depends on uh, the personality of the kid, too, and what kind of person they was going to 
be built to be because I mean, you know, me and my brother grew up in the same and I feel like I developed I mean I'm a little older than he is, but you just never know. Right. How, you know, your one kid might be able to deal with something a little different than the other kid might be so right? That's so uh, that's some that's some like more deep shit than people understand because like, I got a twin brother and shit. We grew up in the same exact environment and shit, but we developed different personalities. Totally different. And I wonder, like, how does that happen? Like, it is, I don't understand that shit, but I think, like, like far as core go, I think I always think, I and mean, when I say about, when I think about this, I always use me, Marcus, and Sean, because we all grew up like three brothers. And I will say that even the distinctness in our personalities and shit, the differences that we had, the similarity we had was that we all had like the quality of like the leadership type. Like when we branched off to our own friends and shit, that we wasn't following that group of friends like we was leading that group. Exactly. And so I think that's like the main connecting factor. But like as far as personality and shit, we grew up like different takes of things. Like, but like the core shit, like the sense of humor and shit, we all laugh at the same shit, you know? But it, it's just, it's a strange thing. You and your brothers, you the oldest, so naturally they fall after you and shit. But I didn't let them fall, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I didn't mean, let them see yeah. that's, that's a, We had different different philosophy, man. It was I don't want you following me because I don't want you to have to decide whether or not you're gonna tell on me or not. <laughs> I mean that was my thinking at that age, like, oh, we about to go over here and do this, this and this. I don't know if I don't know if you know how far I'm willing to go to get away with this. You know, you might give up a little, a little sooner. We was uh, snatching money from, we was, we was taking money from Georgia Dome. That was my biggest hustle in high school. I mean, as a as a ninth grader, we went and worked the uh, Final Four with IU won. Did IU win? No, we ain't won shit. No, Maryland, 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 Maryland. Lonnie won. Baxter, Juan Dixon, Steve Blake. They find Blake, out man. them jokers give you, they let you break up the old nigga shit, them jokers. Get, everybody gets some money. <laughs> You yeah. said what now? You get concession stand tips, you know, when you work with little organizations. Yeah. But I realized, slow nigga I was, I said, man, they not, there's no receipts on the money. There's nothing but you just selling soda and nachos. And end of the day, they count the little pamphlets, how many boxes they sell of, of cartons that hold nachos. Shit, by the next year, boy, we was killing them. So it was, it was certain stuff that I was like, nah, my brothers can't come with me. You think they've told on you? Yeah, man. Look, so I got 600, man, every Sunday. Uh, they was cracking them like that. 600, 700. When T.O. came to the Georgia Dome and played Mike Vick, Mike Vick was on the Falcons, T.O. was in Philly. By the second quarter, 800 in my sock, I'm sitting on baseline. You know, I'm just looking. It's a true story. I'm just looking at T.O., yo, yo. Back then, you get the old phones, the flip phones, yeah, the yeah. grainy little pictures. Wow. Cut out of there by halftime. Somebody got to count at the end of the night, but we're not going to be around. But they, what? So, so you was, this is like the, every yeah, weekend type like, shit? Every Sunday is a home game. Come up there, concession stand. You know, they nachos. Give me 10 of them, give me 4 of them, a couple of this, a couple of that. Ball. All it takes was one or two hundreds to go sideways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember I kind of had a he hustle. He was always scheming. I had a hustle, but now I'm kind of like embarrassed and shit because I can't even match up to that motherfucker. We used to work over at the movies, Applewood. That damn thing was the most fun job I had because it was easy. You go to movies for free and shit like that. And when people would pay like exact amount, we'd bring in the cash register. But what you do, <laughs> we'd keep the money. And put the gift certificate in the cash register and shit to cover oh. it. So if they give us twenty dollars, we put a twenty dollar for the gift. They just sitting right there, you know what I'm saying? And the motherfucker that got me hip to doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah. When I quit and I went back, that nigga was a fucking manager. <laughs> so I said he's really probably tearing their ass and shit wide open. But I don't know, man. You learn, you you adapt, you learn, survive. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of shit you, I learned. Yeah. Man. Hey, man, you just learn tendencies. You learn how to watch. Behaviors, you learn how to. I'll be able to tell y'all about some of my crazy schemes once I, uh, you know, move past. Uh, so you still in? So you, you still in currently? I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still I'm ten years now. out, so I think I'm okay. The statue of limitations and shit, nigga. Hey, now Jamar gonna bring the motherfucker uh, watchers or whatever shit. Now everybody was missing hey, something. She gonna blame you. Hey, I'm trying to uh, what is it? Overcharging for what they did to the cold crush. 
Javar, we were killing them uh, ripples, as the side stated ball, earlier. Man. Let me tell you about my story real quick, right? So, make it real quick. I go to the grocery store, notice, look down, and damn, I got a stain on my pants. So I'm like, fuck. First of all, before I go to the grocery store, I know that I had to go to that marsh over there on, is it a marsh? No, it's not marsh. Marsh is over there fun. on 38th. It's right behind, it's ducked off Myers. Myers sells the big ass bag of Ripples with a double with the two bags in them. Yeah. It's like one big ass bag with two big ass bag of Ripples in them. I don't, you know, all gas stations don't sell Ripples, so I had to go there. Notice, damn, I had to. So I come back, this back fast forward back to in the car. Notice I got a damn stain in my pants, so the stain look like a goddamn nut stain. <laughs> so I'm embarrassed to really go in the store. Cause I'm like, damn, ain't nobody gonna believe this is motherfucking banana nut bread. And that's what it was. That's what you call it. It was real moist. It's no, gonna be, it's, it's no, nut no matter what. No, I was eating the banana nut bread. It was real moist in the middle. It was come my fingers and shit. So I kind of rubbed it off of my pants. That's where the stains come from. But yeah, that's where I got the damn, uh, that's where I got the damn grip off from. From my go there off 38. Hey man, I'm gonna tell you, man, that's like rival story, Corey storytelling. <laughs> that rival Corey storytelling. Hey, Corey on his way up, he just sent the message that he parking and shit. But um, what made me think about them grip balls? Do it seem like it's some weird shit, dude? Because this is the conversations niggas have. Do it seem like grip balls got hotter than you? Yeah, motherfuckers is kind of nice. <laughs> grip balls don't got hotter. Do you eat grip balls? Uh, yeah, but I don't remember them from. I've never been a person to eat hot shit. I remember when the hot fries. The hot fries was it. I remember man. when the hot Cheetos came out, nigga. Yellow bag. The hot fries with the little man on the front. You talking about Andy Cat? Yeah. yeah, Andy Cat was on. I like the You cheddar. just couldn't drink no Coke products with that shit. Like, every time you try to drink a Coke with some hot fries, <laughs> it's just it's it. It was a whole different taste. I ain't never been on no nigga eating no hot shit. I just I can't like do shit. Like so, Grip Bowls was as hot as I could get. And them motherfuckers done got hot earlier than me, man. Yeah, they, how you just cough and shit, nigga. I cough when I'm eating grip balls like niggas do when they smoking weed. Hey. That should be fucking out. I, I be watering and shit. All that shit. But, uh, damn, what, what, you missed last week. What was going on? I know you went, fuck, first off, man, <laughs> fuck you. I gotta say this to your face. Fuck you. Black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> fuck you. Hey, man, my nigga. My nigga Wiz came in town. I I found out so, last week that I saw like Wiz Khalifa more like, than he man, like me. That's my dude, man. You my dude too, but nah, you weren't performing in concert with a bunch of... I'm trying to get to the level where motherfuckers want to come and pay to see me. And I was trying to reserve the spot and let them know, hey, we here now with Wiz, but I'm going to be back when my nigga Don, man. You all just <laughs> hold on. Listen, yeah. listen. This is the part that I ain't like is how in the group chat, you going to say, I might not be there. I might be... Mike, motherfucker, at 6 o'clock, you know if you're going to be there or not. Mm. Like, I'm uh, Mike. I said, nah, yeah, didn't like, he say Mike? You don't remember? It was a rain delay. Like, it, it was supposed to be what? Rain that day. Rain. I wish y'all got struck by lightning. Not that you would have died. I wanted rain. to survive. But struck Car battery died at the house. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Before the concert. Uh, yeah, somebody was in there. I told him to roll the window out. You know, well, anyway. Yeah. Car battery died. <laughs> <laughs> Took a Uber there. They can try to take a Uber out of there at night when you got thousand one white people all trying to leave. They probably was cracking on that Uber. Yeah, about twenty five. You alright, babes? Yeah. Hey, look. Oh, no. You, my daughter over there laying down and shit. Yeah, I'm, not gonna, I'm over here trying to make a life like a decision and shit. Like, <laughs> do I jump up and <laughs> go? Physically check or do I just call out? <laughs> hey, that was one of my deadbeat moments. We, everybody got a deadbeat moment and shit. Hey, if you if you feel like you over there dying, raise your foot. <laughs> I can't interrupt my broadcast for your fucking inability to fucking eat. <laughs> but um, but yeah, well, how was the call? Was it was it packed? You said. Yeah, it was it was packed. I mean, a lot of people still went out there, but I mean, it was cool. It's different for me, man. I'm glad we got seats. Man, so you can stand up the whole time. Up, man, I can say it wasn't even about uh, you know being late. It was just physically, I could stand up. Man, I started feeling like an old person oh. in church. Man, <laughs> shit was hurt, and I said, "Oh, uh, I'm gonna sit down on this weird song. I'll be back <laughs> up with the next one." Man, I feel old as fuck. Who was he? Who was he here with? Is it a group called Race Murder? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's two dudes. Yeah, Race. Yeah, Race. One, they one. Was, they was probably the best one because he didn't do. He didn't do that good. We one. Didn't? 
he was really? on some promotion of his new shit, and he uh, hit everybody with black and yellow, but you don't want to hear black no, and yellow in no yeah, concert. Yeah, yeah. Like, nah, you want play a popular one that a lot of people don't put on the radio. Yeah. yeah. So you get the crowd who really knows you're going. But everybody know black and yellow, security guards know that. Like, yeah. that was goofy. Yeah. And everything else, it was new, so nobody knew, so we just listened. It was yeah. like, oh, shit. Yeah. What, uh, what, Ray Smart, which one of them niggas supposed to be cold? Swagger, what's Swagger? Swagger, that's the one that's cold. The other one, they be getting, he gonna get dropped. <laughs> they, they always say they, they be fucking with him he like they, it's almost they, a rap for you. He trying to hang him in there, that's his own. Exactly. Don't really fuck with him. I don't know if they brothers, that's his own. Oh, they brothers. Mm-hmm. They brothers, so he know they trying to get him in there. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like how the Migos is with, uh, I mean, you know, they kind of took off though. Take off, nigga. Take off, take off. I'm glad you said take off. I can't never remember that obsolete ass nigga name. Yeah. Yeah. He left? He gon' get left. Oh. Like, he ain't he the less hot as long, but I like Tay Love. He better hope that they don't ever go so low. Lyricist, <laughs> he, so. He's like, he like, what's the bitch name in uh, Destiny Child? Michelle who, Williams. Who fucking in, in therapy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's he him. Said, he better yeah. with the words, though. Uh, On some interview with Breakfast Club, they gave him he credit said, for yeah, being the yeah. best I rapper. Think, I think that was just trying to keep you in. You know what I mean? Man, keep that's how you fuck. Maybe he just ain't got the hits in him. I ain't trying to keep you real, man. They say he was a bitch. They will say he was a if you can rap and you riding the wave like you know, like that Migos wave, nigga, they gonna find a way to. Yeah. If you can rap, nigga, you gonna be out there and shit making noise. You know, nigga, ain't he like, was left off ain't bad like Crunchy moves. Black, you know, where you gotta <laughs> get a <it, nigga>, ten <laughs> seconds at the end. You know. But uh, what like I I just said before, I'm not a concert goer. Like, uh, what was you doing? Like first off. Man, really, I thought you were your hands in the air like you just didn't care. <laughs> I realized I was a little too old to do what I used to do, man. Like, I had a couple drinks where I got there, had one when I got there, and that had me. I, yeah, I couldn't keep up, man. I had one one little blunt. I had to be smoking in three sessions. I tried to be cool with everybody else. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Mr. Sabri, I didn't know you were going to be here. Nigga, forget, forget the sounds of the teacher. I'll say Damn. this later, you know. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that crowded yeah, under yeah, the yeah. pavilion because that's where you got paid. Where was it at? There's the one at Car- Carmel, ain't it? In uh, Nobles. Nobles. Ah, yeah, you was at the old yeah, Deer Creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clips and sit down there with all of them. You know, all of them. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, young people in the, in the grass. You follow the concerts, don't you? I've only been to two ever in my life. Who was that? Uh, J. Cole and Chris Brown. It's time for a new style. I need the con- the old people concert where you bring the blanket and the cooler oh, and the car. Free concert on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look, Look man, easy parking. You know what I mean? You bring a lawn chair, oh, kick back. Thirty-two, man. man. <laughs> Look, that old, yeah, yeah. my knees feel like they're fifty-two. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand up. <laughs> I'm 26. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like that's a bright idea. A little light bulb went off yeah. for the age. Yeah. You said you were. I don't even like really go to the club no more. That's how I be. Same energy. 26. Yeah. Damn, you played 26. I don't have 26. I was just at 26. I was, but I was just rounding off into my peak of fuckery. I was just gearing. I was just what stretching with my final run. <laughs> no, at 26. Not on those clubs. No, I'm talking club, about nigga. just not crying. I'm talking about just wow. Yeah. In your prime type shit. Yeah. yeah, no, I just happen to be jammed up around this time because I am with my prime. <laughs> I could be, be on some shit. Hey, I don't wish, I don't wish your, your situation on nobody. <laughs> no, no, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking no, with you. I'm going to take the easy route at this age, man. I don't want to do the drinking all day, go to this club, that club, drive drunk. Hope to get something. I need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just man, need, so just come need home, to get traded to the like championship shit. contender. Like, you, know, you got a friend that got a friend. Tell him what's up. I'm ready to hang. You know. Hey, that's what I be, man. You blink one. I was thinking about this shit earlier. Like, I, I can't remember exactly my exact mm-hmm. thought process. But I, I'm sitting up here like, I like it feel like just yesterday, I was at Summer Ray playing basketball. <laughs> Now I'm over here and shit, getting out of a fucking work truck with a hurt back. You know what I'm saying? Like, life happened that fucking fast. You know what I'm saying? One decision. Hell yeah, it's, it's called birthdays. Some shit you can't prevent. But yeah, Corey just got in the building. What's happening with you, man? What's happening? What's happening? What you been up to? Shit, just came from uh, the fair and shit. Took the little one. To the fair, same old, same old. The motherfucker pack. That motherfucker, it was getting real packed because we was leaving all the um, Ray Rays and Mook Mook and the uh, little niggas was coming in. I said, yep, it's definitely time for us to get up out of here, Corey. Let's go. Well, uh, 
It rained all day. Was it muddy? It wasn't muddy. Nah, shit? it was actually, uh, shit was actually dry and cool. And like, it started sprinkling as we were walking away, but then it stopped. But shit. You know what? That sun came out, though. Yeah, that sun came out in the middle of the day. Oh, man, I was in that motherfucking work shirt. I used to probably know it was sweaty. Oh, this fuck, man. What, uh, we ain't talk about the weekend. Y'all do anything this weekend? Uh, what I do? I think it was first Fridays. How was that? Uh, that shit was cool. Uh, It'd be cool every time or whatever. Uh, I ain't really do shit. You said uh, downtown, dude? Yeah, at uh, Fountain Square. Okay. okay. At uh, High Five. Uh, four DJs. They kind of like uh, going off each other. One play a song, the next one mixed in and shit. And next, the next two get up. So it's was, it was pretty decent. Um, With the crowd, like our age? Our, yeah, it's our age because it's, it's called Back to the Future. So it's more like older hip hop and everything. Ain't got to worry about. The tear the club up thugs and shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Tear the club. Three six had a boom. They was. They was the sound. They was when I shit. first got to college, like ninety seven, ninety eight. Yeah, but after a while, that shit. You know what I'm saying? Three six kept kept going through two thousand, early two thousand. Yeah. I, I think they stopped around ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, that little giant started yeah, taking the crown. Yeah, those motherfuckers, they seem to be cracking with, like, when they had beef with a bone earlier than that, though. I forgot about it. Probably, like, 95, 96. Yeah. It was still going in the early 2000s. No, no, I said when it got started. I when it got started. I've never, I've never been a 3-6 nigga. Like, I've never been, I've never heard a 3-6 album. For real? They don't appeal to me. A 3-6, like, that shit don't appeal to me. Oh, this this the whole concept yeah, of day. Yeah, that day. Oh, but see, I'm, I was a couple steps behind at that time. So then, it's like we we cussing like we three you know, six. Yeah, you know, we middle school, so. Time, so I wasn't thinking about none of that. Yeah, like a project <laughs> pack or nothing. I ain't never done that. Ninth grade, that look, it wasn't nothing yeah, better than get school, written right? up for that. Yeah. Like, and it's crazy because I would fuck with Bond now. Yeah, and that's Bond was like high level devil worship. Boy, Mr. Ouija. Oh, yeah, they kept the Ouija on every album, though. That's just crazy oh, shit. Every fucking album, every man. Ouija on every album. Everybody said that, but I didn't, didn't catch on Christian? to play. Or something like that. One of them did. did they make like a, some they, like, like, even you ask them, they had said some shit like, we Christian. You know what I'm saying? They still would have said that shit. Hell yeah, that's all you got into this weekend, though? Yeah, I got a little homie ready for the first day of school. How did she go? Uh, um, what do you do? Was, she, uh, let me know she ain't need me. She's like, there, you can walk me to the door. <sighs> so I'm walking to your class, and she treat me. She's like, okay, just take a couple steps behind. What? How old is she? Seven. She just turned seven. It's crazy how fast kids get into prison, though, man. My daughter play cool. me like that. She play like, I ain't cool, motherfucker. Uh-huh. She play me like that. Uh, but she had the head-ass teacher. I'm like, definitely walking you to class, shit. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Miss Tinsley. That's a safe oh, yeah. Yeah. That's Jamal, bitch. That's how? That's Jamal, bitch. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I saw the little picture you posted, nigga. I seen a motherfucker say, uh, she looked like she wanted that snooze button. Yeah. What the fuck did you spell on your, con- your response? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? I don't know, that, shit. Man. <laughs> you put like P, you put punch. Yeah, like, yeah. to spell punch. I punch. I said, uh, ready to get punched. <laughs> I thought this shit is psychedelic. I was say yes. I, I was like, nah, P-Y-S. or get punched. Yes. Yeah, I was, I was in the middle of working and uh, oh, responding. Well, uh, damn, it's crazy how fast time flies. Second grade. Second grade, yeah, you remember shit like I remember second grade. Why y'all trying to get him for that spelling, man? Like, what? They supposed to, shit. Get you for that spelling. I don't fuck you. 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 That autocorrect will fuck you up. No, that wasn't autocorrect or that shit. That shit went nowhere near punch. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this nigga was listening to George Clinton spell psychedelic. Oh, uh, <laughs> bitch, you know, <laughs> that up. Yeah, we're that up. Yeah, we pulling that up. Like, you had to tell Siri. No, I said, man, Corey dyslexic and didn't like, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga dyslexic. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to tell you that. He's going to ask you to spell it. Be ready. I do, like I said. Be ready. Do you spell punch? Damn. He going to Google. <laughs> nah, 
I'm about to see what the fuck went wrong when I throw that punch. Inside. Nigga, don't read my motherfucking mind, nigga. No, I'm just saying. That punch he coming up? Ah, yeah, I'm turning off auto correct. Ah, auto correct done did it. Ain't that a bitch? We blame all the for a lot of shit, like turning. That's like when you turn it to it's. When you type fuck, fuck, fuck turn to duck. Hell yeah, nigga, that's fucking like, duck. You fucking that's... tonight? Are you ducking tonight? Hey, I ain't trying to duck you. If you said the text and the motherfucker said duck, and I'm like, he mean fuck. <laughs> but right there, nigga, I was legitimately confused. <laughs> what the fuck? I said, man, this nigga on some new era shit. You know what I'm saying? But look, that's what's up though, man. That uh, man, second grade, my TV was. Miss Harris. You remember your second grade teacher? I ain't like that fat, skinny, big head bitch. You remember your second grade teacher? I remember all my fucking teachers in elementary though. That's crazy, man. Miss Morgan. Miss Morgan. 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 She read all Miss Harris. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo. You remember the, the you real Miss Morgan? Morgan? Used to substitute. You remember old ass Miss Morgan, do you? Ask, ask anybody older from the crib yeah. and shit about Miss Morgan. She used to fucking pinch people and shit, Dang. twist their ears. She was a crazy old. It's like she couldn't die though. That bitch was like 700 when she died. That bitch be talking about the flood and shit. Like when I was a little girl and the big old flood came and I was hanging on to the ark because nobody knew I was there. <laughs> she got stories like that. But my, my weekend was fucking dead. Like I think this is probably one of my most dead uh, weekends. No long. movie. Hell no. I tried to ignore the Teen Titans. She said it's coming on TV. Does she? She says she watched the fucking series and shit instead yeah. of the fucking movie. Uh, That's some funny probably shit. Probably way better than the movie anyway. The series on the old Netflix. Uh, the series is a fucking movie. movie, corny and shit to me because yeah. it's like a play of the series. real Teen Titans and shit. I don't I'm know. Like, I put it on the TV like and show. I walk out the room. I like, when I put it on. You oh, damn near gotta watch that shit though because they be yeah. on some bad shit. That they damn they robbing. That yeah. damn twerking and shit. Be shaking his ass and shit. I don't like that shit, but uh, I'm glad my parents shielded me from a lot of stuff. It wasn't like, like that. Yeah. Like that. I don't see no shit like that. Well, uh, damn. Like we got some shit on the holiday about, but I thought about this too though, and I just want maybe in particular Corey's opinion because he from that era, the Cosby Show. When you was coming up in the '80s and shit, best era of television yeah. ever. Yeah. The 80s was the best era of television. You said 90s. Like, like what? Well, hold on, what was the best show? I ain't even being funny, but like, yeah, what was the best show of the 90s? We had this talk before. Okay, okay. I didn't hear it. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I can't remember which exactly shows was in the, there was was the, the end of the 80s. Mar- the Martin and Will Smith was in the 90s, so. Was it? Yeah, oh, it was. got the best shows then. That, that ends the conversation. It was that era. But see, you, you gotta go back watch a lot of stuff, stuff I saw. Was, like you said, I want to be the best, <laughs> best representative because I saw a lot of stuff late. I'm not saying like it wasn't good. When show. I looked at the yeah. I'm the line up, the 80s line up in the 90s. Did they have a Cosby or a 90s world. had just a tad bit or more. Tupac died in the 90s. It was like you could, you could actually oh, no. see a little yeah. bit more in the 90s. Oh, all right. Then he died in the 90s. Come on, man. Put your hat back on. Put your hat back on. <laughs> hey, but like when I say 80s TV, man, for one, it was more wholesome. That, that's one of the things. I like that. Yeah. started to cross the line yeah. a little bit, which I like. I like, like, shit like they. It started coming almost, almost, not almost, right. there. 2000 was like another era. 90s is the best music era. But yeah. movies and TV, I mean TV, not movies, but because we had shit like Growing Pains. Uh, Wonder fucking years. Facts of Life, one like, year. Oh, oh Girlfriend like Facts 50, of Life just died the other day. Yeah. It was like 54 or some shit like that. What? What? Regular ass porn. So. It was on like. Hell no. Hell no. Nah. Shit no. That was like late yeah, at night. Like porn 60, came on. Like 60 for like something. Hell, hell no. That shit was all squiggly and shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Trying yeah. hard to see a titty. Yeah. Unless you get a hotel, you get a road trip, sports team. But, uh. What is there? Night Rider. Night Rider. Uh, all that stuff started it. I give it. Hold on, no, cause these Miami like, these, Vice. My, I'm talking about these was the best. Like 18, the 18. Uh, like you could go like two, two, seven, eight man. Oh, man. It was so much. Eight, fucking eight man good was shit. the shit. It was. It was a lot of good shit. Like that was my favorite. color. Yeah, that was just my favorite era of TV. I want to say like pioneers, like what that really took it off. But the 90s took it to a whole another level. Actually, that's when the quality start going down. I like magic. Cause if you even go seven, you can go what's like happening. Jordan. You can go fucking what's uh, good times. Even the Fred Sanford. 
He like judges the error of, of what's going on at town. Tyson is at his prime in the night. I'm talking about Jordan TV. Is Just no, great uh, was in his prime in the night. Speaking of that, Sanford, did you like the, uh, the last Western. season without <laughs> the big white boy on the couch? That wasn't the last one. That was in Sanford. San- yeah, it was in Sanford. But you know what? It was Sanford and Sanford and Sanford. 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 Yeah, Cal. I still like it because uh, Red Fox was a driving force. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I think so but remember he wasn't on the 80s? A lot of Because he was out at, he went back to St. Louis. What y'all say? Good quality acting. What'd you say at the Kia State? Yeah. I said they got the <laughs> best <laughs> actors. You said the best actors in the 90s? 80s. 80s, 80s, 80s think so. I think I just a lot think of the shows that y'all named, those actors go down as some of the best actors of all time. You know, they, at least they going for on. a TV concern. Yeah, in terms of TV, then you, a lot of those shows were remade into movies for our two, two, later seven. generations later. Yeah. But I just think the 90s had the Empty best Nets. blend of... It's oh, so much shit I can think of. Hey, Sex, uh, action, coach. plot. My two dads, perfect nice. stranger, yeah. family, yeah. marriage. Graphics were better. Yeah. Special effects were better. I ain't like, the one that got the... I ain't the one that got some. I mean, you ain't here for me. Was, hey, that was the you shit. said graphics, special effects. We talking about TV, not movies. I said acting as well. Are you talking about fucking Power Rangers? Yeah. No, I'm talking about TV. Which though, Voltron, TV, which was the 80s. I mean, like, I'm not talking about the quality of production. I'm talking about like the quality of TV show content. He definitely had the best cartoon, though. Who? The 90s? Oh, fuck it, did. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. He Thundercats. Voltron. Voltron. Either one. I take the cars over the 90s. Yeah. Flintstone. All the Hanna Barbera. Yeah. Well, I mean, that shit didn't like 60s, 70s yeah. and shit. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, the best, best TV hard, was in the 80s. When you put it against Beast Wars, you just can't beat Beast Wars. Beast Wars. Beast Wars. See, like, I've never seen Transformers. That's the Transformers spin off the Transformers. Beast Wars. Yeah, it's always a That shit was hard as crap. He go for it. Go by. See it. He a go by. Yeah, that's what Voltron was. No, it wasn't. We had Fraggle Rock. We had Trump and Babies. Voltron was robots. No, Go-Bots. Go-Bots was like a spinoff of Transformers. It was like the generic version. Oh, cool. Even though they had it. It was a real show. It was Go-Bots. Yeah. It was a knockoff Transformers. Let's trans, uh, transfer it to something else that took place this weekend. Now the Hall of Fame entry, the Hall of Fame, the NFL Hall of Fame. Um, some of the people who went into the Hall of Fame was... Who can make a big play? I can't. Who can stab a nigga and make a white suit disappear? Ray Ray. <laughs> Ray Ray Lewis. Uh, Brian Earl Acker. Uh, T.O. I love me. Sarah Ray. Owens. Um, Brandy Moss. <laughs> and what's the boy name from fucking... Uh, the Eagles. Hell yeah. Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins. I used to love, you talk about that was that secondary. That, that secondary, was secondary. That secondary was fucking incredible. Do you, know, uh, you remember Madden Troy from Vincent, Sega Genesis? Bobby Taylor. Did you ever play Madden on Sega Genesis? I didn't have a second. Yeah, you missed a lot. But Lakers versus Celtics. I used to have a Probably played somebody. We're going to stay on course at the NFL Hall of Fame. <laughs> Hall of Fame weekend. Um, the the I think the two biggest things that took place involved, to me, the two best players there. Uh, some people debate this say Ray Lewis because Ray Lewis is arguably the fucking best middle linebacker in history. Um, yeah. Two of the top three receivers ever. They both made statements in different ways. T.O., he was snubbed, uh, what, two times? And I literally mean snubbed. He yeah. should have been the first ballot Hall of Fame for whatever reason. Uh, politics, what be it, he wasn't. This is his first year and the way he spit them motherfuckers' face was not to show up. He did some shit that only T.O. could do was had his own Hall of Fame ceremony <laughs> at good. his college. A college that's, that wasn't even like a highly, you know what I'm saying, thought of college as far as uh, athletics go, uh, Tennessee, Chattanooga. Like this Scottie Pippen uh, NFL. Yeah. He had his own ceremony. And he, I mean, he had a decent crowd from what I could tell. I didn't, like, they didn't show the picture of the crowd, but it was a good response. The nigga get his jacket and his shit. I, I love that shit. Mm-hmm. He did the shit exactly how he wanted to. Uh, NFL was shitty. You see what they did Monday? No, they was. What they did? They changed the rules. You have to be present in Canton now. Man, he know, he know you know, he know. Come on, man. Yeah. Like, how do you have to be yeah, present to do right. what? To receive your NFL jacket to give a speech or anything. Like, he, but even if I'm not there, you already voted me in. Yeah, so. His reason for not going in, because he said he don't like the vote process. He don't like the sports writers giving votes. And I totally fucking agree with that shit. Yeah. I don't understand, like, these motherfuckers don't have anything to do with the game they watch them. Yeah, it's a little different from actually playing the game, too. Like, that's just like, it is. I know, I compare it to boxing, like, people might say certain shit, and I'm like, man, you don't know how hard it is to move in 
from that angle and throw from that awkward ass position and you know what I mean? So it's probably the same shit. And they're like, he's probably like, man, these sports riders don't fucking, they don't really know shit. So how the fuck they you gonna let them? Got the way he talked to the reporters. Same thing with Barry Bonds. Barry, I mean, the Barry Bonds start the start the Barry Bonds a whole different one. Yeah, huh. I feel like the reporters on the good side, right? The good side is they drive the the stat narrative. But then you're right; they got too much power now because they realize they drive the stat narrative. They put the stats in front of us to to see who's top this, top that every day. Every day they report, report, report. He's one and two in every. Oh uh, no, it's hands down, T O fan, hands down. Uh, I understand, uh, but I'm just saying how to how they got involved. I think it was an honest thing because they was the only ones really recording what was happening. But then it was out of hand, man. And you think they just abused the power? They oh, out of hand, man, because they don't like the swag that's coming out. It all goes down to what what they present is character shit. All these characters. Ah, you beat it, whatever you dick ride these uh, wifey but. Ray Lewis has a big fucking character question mark next to oh. him. Ray Lewis. <coughs> Ray, Lewis. <laughs> Ray Lewis said, look, this is the way to get restitution. Do it this way. Turn niggas in. Turn niggas in. Yeah. That nigga slave catch. He got the fucking DNA you with slave See how fast catch. they for that? That's what he tells me. You see how fast they <coughs> forgot what I did? Like, <laughs> that's all you got to do. If you judge him and T.O. by the same criteria, which is what they clearly did, what well, they didn't do. Yeah, they did. did All that. field shit. Ray Lewis shouldn't have got in. Nope. First battle. If we doing it like that, because on the field, it's unquestionable what T.O. did. They could probably bring in the fact that he was on part of, what, two teams that got rings. But I don't I don't think that you can have a player of uh, Terrell Owens quality getting in on the second uh, try. Congratulations to him for doing shit how he always did his way. Then showed up and Canada ran a, a four four forty. That shit's crazy. He did what? That nigga ran four four forty. Nigga ran four four forty. Yeah. That was recent. Like recent the other uh, day. Month. No, like like two. He, 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 he trying out for the Canadian Football League. He did about a month ago or something. Like <clears> that. Who showed is? him more. T.O. Showed up Canada the other day. Ran a four four forty. That's receiver every play, huh? man. He trying to put the CFL. Yeah. And that's, that's, that sounds like disrespect to Jerry Rice. I hate hold on, hold on, because we're looking at that first. Let's get in Randy Moss, Paul. Yeah. We're going to talk about that shit we talk about over here. The second greatest receiver ever was also in this ceremony, Randy Moss. And he made a, a statement, which he, um, at, his, at his ceremony, well, ceremony of blowing everybody, but he wore a tie that had uh, different names of people who was victim of police brutality. People got uh, assassinated, slain by police. Uh, some of the names were Tamir Rice, uh, Eric Garner, Sandra Bland, Walter Scott, uh, the Brown boy out of uh, Missouri, St. Yeah. Louis, wherever. Mike Brown. Um, yeah, and that's that's some dope shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it just shows that he's aware, and he took, as he said, that I mean, he they took. They totally fucked him over because when they re-aired it, they made his head big like well, you only see his face. You can't see the towel on the, on the re-air. I mean, that's what they do. Yeah. It, the message was already the shot for him. We yeah. already had seen it. And he took, he know he on the biggest stage of that day in national sports and shit. And he took a stance like that. And this will go, we'll talk about Dak Prescott a little bit later. Because it, it's, it's along the same lines of uh, taking a stance and not taking a stance. He tripped down on this shit. And, and, but congratulations to those people, especially uh, Brian Dawkins. They didn't count their crown like an idiot. But hey, that's what the fuck he want to do with his evening. <laughs> but Asad says that T.O. is the greatest receiver ever. Ever. I totally disagree. I don't only think that Jerry Rice is the best receiver. I think he's the best football player ever. Jerry Rice got the most crazy fucking receiving numbers when quarterbacks weren't throwing the ball like they are today, when it wasn't a quarterback pass-friendly league where you actually ran the ball, where you could actually kill, where you could actually bump and beat the shit out of receivers at the line of scrimmage. If a player like Jerry Rice played the same uh, era that T.O. played in his prime, he would have way better it fucking bump. They had, they had the five-yard bump, bro. No, the fuck they didn't. I'm talking about, no, nah, they didn't have that shit. I'm talking about when Jerry Rice was playing in the 80s. When he caught them 22 fucking touchdowns, quarterbacks were not airing the ball out like they are Who today. Who was his quarterback? Joe Montana. And then it was Steve Young. Oh, then Rich Getty. 
He has made every quarterback he's played with a superstar. Are you he, playing he's with superstars? So he didn't make Joe Montana no superstar. What the That's fuck he did? Yeah, who the, what yeah, was Joe doing? I ain't got a crazy What the show. fuck? Hold the fuck on. Who was Joe Montana doing before Jerry Rice? You say he didn't make him a superstar. What other receiver did he have that was in the Hall? That's in the Hall of Fame. What what other player from that offense is in the Hall of Fame? Dallas no, Clark, he's not a Hall of Fame. Not he's not a Hall of Fame. Roger Craig is not a Roger Hall of Craig's Fame. Not. John Taylor's not a Hall John of Fame. Taylor's John not. Jerry Rice is the only Hall of Famer. When John, when Joe Montana went down, Steve Young picked right up. Steve Young was a fucking Tampa Bay cast off. Jerry Rice turned that motherfucker to a Hall of Famer. Jerry yeah. Rice make motherfuckers better. And then yeah. a T.O. versus Randy Moss argument, I'll sit here and listen to. But against Jerry Rice, I'm not listening to that shit. This yeah, you is made, just you this. made Rich Gannon better. I so was a two as a third. Yeah, yeah, he was a time. fucking all pro. I mean, he had Tim Brown too. Though. Yeah, Rich he had, had a better. Yeah, he had a better off. He had a better offense. Yeah. But what you say? You put T.O. third all time. Yeah. So Behind Randy Moss. Hell yeah. If you was a quarterback, if you were a quarterback, if you were a quarterback and you were out here, you got to play with T.O. or Randy Moss. Who you take? T.O. So he can drop clutch uh, balls. That's a league, league he touchdown. He did that towards the end of the career. It's made that people yeah. just picked it out. Look, he, look how he passed yeah. these drops. And he but did drop that one in San Francisco, who, and then he came back. Who are his quarterbacks? Oh, he had Garcia. Gio. He had... Um, Garcia was a uh, pro bowler, too. He had the benefit no, of the <laughs> yeah, so do, do these stats and awards mean? Because sometimes stats and awards and he don't almost had Mike Vick when that commercial came almost, out. Almost. Almost. Oh, yeah, yeah, horseshoes. We ain't playing horseshoes. Yeah, Dalvin 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 Dalvin. And Mike Vick don't make motherfuckers better. Nah, he definitely ahead. don't. Had Dalvin 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 throwing up like Willie Bean. Dalvin Dalvin was probably quarterback. That was there, man. Dalvin Dalvin one of the toughest quarterbacks ever. That nigga probably would have fucking broke a leg through four touchdowns. I fuck with Donovan. I man. thought T.O. had the broke leg. No, he had a broke leg before. But I, I mean, T.O. and Jerry Rice. I'm talking about when Donovan had broke his shit before touchdown pass. Jerry Rice got hands. He can get open. The route run is crazy. He's going to get open. What do T.O. do better than Jerry Rice? Rice? What do we do better than Jerry Rice? He's more power. Power shit. We're not wrestling. I'm talking about football. And that's the thing. His yards have to catch. You've tremendous. never seen Jerry Rice play, have you? Uh, yeah. Not... The prime, you know what I mean? Only high. Even, even, even in ninety nine you wasn't watching Jerry Rice. Yeah, in ninety nine he did he's a better route runner than I don't think he do I, mean, I can't I don't think I don't think he's watching football. All I think T.O. is better than Jerry Rice is faster. But the football speed, Jerry Rice's football speed is you know what I'm saying, it's accurate for what he do, is jelly everything. Jerry Rice is and it's smart, the best route. football player ever. So how do you feel that? Uh, open run routes just as good as Jerry Rice. How do you feel that Jerry no. Rice came out with his hands is not as good as Jerry's. He had stickling stuff on his hands. So he what? He was using stickling. His elusiveness is not as good as Jerry's, but his yards have to catch. Really, that's what receivers are doing. So I mean, I don't, think they, made, I don't think they enhanced his playing ability. What you saw? have to catch him. You talking about fucking yak. That's your shit, yak. That's yeah. your that's your go to stat. Hate that yeah. shit because I'm mm-hmm. mad at that shit. Give him nightmare. Yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah, this nigga, mm-hmm. we ain't gonna talk about that. Mm-hmm. To balance receiver, he's almost like a tight end, but also with the speed of wide receiver. Despite the band, he got fight. that athleticism of Randy. Yeah, Wallace. almost like no fucking tight end. He can run man. routes. Oh. And he is not athletic. Run. Hold on. No uh, receiver in the history of football is I'd athletic. He's, he's, he's athletic. more he's yeah. more of a Calvin Johnson. He's more in the mode of a Calvin Johnson. He's not athletic like Randy Moss. He's not as fast. Randy he don't catch better. He don't what? he don't catch better. He's not faster. He might go over the middle better. But do you play a motherfucker one on one? It's toast every Randy fucking like, day. Like, if Randy Moss like, had had him two down just, seasons man. in fucking Oakland, where they wouldn't, wouldn't fuck with him, if he would have had two good two regular seasons, like he came back and blew that fucking record out of the water. Randy, with, I'm listening, man. I'm Randy. a Cowboys fan. This. The Cowboys not drafting Randy Moss is the biggest Randy shit that hurt my stomach close. ever. Randy that shit close. hurts my stomach. That nigga, I'm talking about, you line him up with anybody. Listen, uh, any fucking cornerback. He gonna, out, he gonna, he's gonna demolish. The only oh, quarterback that had a good run was uh, Darrell Reed. Darrell Reed. But he ain't never come across that middle. He, he never went across the middle. I mean, I can't say never, right. but we, we I mean, that wasn't his script. That wasn't his script. That's what I'm script. saying. So that's why I go back to T.O. Six, six, T.O. has a knuckle where he can go over top, four, three, he can go four, over four, middle, 40. and he can just do a little comeback and do a quick catch like Jerry Rice and get some yards at the catch. T.O. did the most in all three categories spread out, I guess, is, if that makes sense. Am I saying he that did right? what now? Almost like 
He just stats stuff. Overall, the average was better. He has a better average overall. Better average. Randy was like a hundred down the down the down the sideline, zero across the middle. Jerry was like a hundred oh, across the middle, zero down the sideline. You know, man. He's talking about video like games. Six down the sideline, six across. T.O.'s the most well balanced receiver. He's the best. Wait a minute. Damn. If you talking about That's between tough. them two, I told y'all this is an argument, but you are not about to place him over Jerry Rice. Jerry's not gonna get credit, man. Jerry's he ain't gonna get credit. He's, not, he's, 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 he's if you go to any me, top his any you go to yes. any top list of punters, you start football players ever. They all but not receivers, not listen, offensive players. Top in an player. era when we did not have this type of player. Yeah. This, so then Tebow was the best ever. Oh, you fought yeah, Wendell when we didn't you have nobody. Like, so what I'm saying yeah. is, until they play for that style, if you're the only one doing that, yeah, you're going to get away with that quarterback sneak forever. Mike Vick had the same effect until everybody said, if this ain't the last nigga running around football, then we're going to start playing for this style of player. You said I'm saying no that Jerry like Rice that. play in an error where it was not yeah. a quarterback friendly so, league. Quarterbacks were not throwing fucking four or five thousand passing yards. It wasn't yeah. a quarterback friendly league. He only had eight more starts than Randy Moss. That's just not what they was doing. T.O. had two hundred one starts for one thousand seventy eight receptions, fifteen thousand yards, and okay. three touchdowns. If there was a lot of Randy receivers Moss, going off around that area, they would have changed their style of defense. Randy Moss had put T.O. Uh, back in that area. Starts. All them Bradley niggas and T.O. seven hundred more yards than Randy Moss. Yeah. You know what? T.O. finished with 700 more yards than, uh, Randy, than Randy Moss, right? Yeah. But he oh. beat three less oh. touchdowns. And if Randy Moss would have played through two seasons and shit in Oakland, can you imagine? Now, just yards. It's only eight different in starts, though. It's only, like, eight starts. That's the oh. difference, I'm though. talking about the quality oh, no. season. Yeah. Randy, Terrell Owens Randy has 15,934 yards. With 153 touchdowns. <laughs> Jerry Rice has 22,000 fucking yards, 895 yards. That's almost... That's I'm like damn near fucking eight thousand more yards. Uh, per so what does that uh, take? He was the he first called one in the Terrell averaged eighty five receptions a year, that was and Randy Moss averaged eighty one. Uh, like you, the first of a breed. Right. Ain't nobody geared to play their defenses to chase a nigga like that. Like, wait, look, man, we ain't gonna. We we we. If we, this is the saying, only hey, team hey, with a Jerry Rice, and we not bother. If you put him, Terrell Owens, the only receiver. To be named Jerry first Rice team all pro selection. That's what I think. Uh, especially Randy Moss. Randy Moss go back in that era and you just play. Yeah, he got he gonna kill them stats too. So Jerry Rice Randy Moss won the all uh, pro. Jerry Rice won your ninety seven touchdowns. <laughs> They changed the rule for a reason because everybody started jamming his receivers. Right if now. Jerry Rice didn't have a fucking battle through motherfuckers hitting well, him, what about jamming? Cause they you like, crazy as hell. Hey, hold on, hold on. You've never seen football in the NFL. Okay, okay, yeah. 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 Hey, moving on. Football football back back moving on, but staying with football real oh, quick. Man. Dak, he's catching flag for not backing down from the stands on he the uh, down again. Y'all the same ones who think Dr. J is the baddest. Who said Dr. J is the baddest? We moved on from that. <laughs> yeah. He just trying to fucking argue now. He's just trying to we'll, 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 I'll we'll go. I'll go. Wait a minute, man. <laughs> Dak, what's your thoughts on Dak? We all what know he uh, right. said that he's not going to protest the national anthem. He feels like he's not a place for it. Yeah. And he ain't never did. He's not going to do it. Right. What do you think about that, Javar? Y'all not going to stand? <laughs> <laughs> Like said, I stood. Donkey of the day. Fuck Charles, man. We don't talk about the end. You said what he's supposed to say, right? He said what he's supposed to say. He said, I like uh, Jerry. What do you think? Oh, 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 think he a yeah. Why do you think he a hoe? Talking about for not stuff. So he's talk, well, he's not protesting. When they asked him how he felt about his owner, his boss statements, and the general manager statements like if you're a cowboy you stand toe to the line for the national anthem oh. if you kneel you won't be a cowboy oh. so basically they asked him how he felt about that and he was like I guess you could say agreeing with it kind of in agreeance with it like they're trying to make you make a decision kind of he was trying to stay yeah, out yeah. of it but yeah, yeah, yeah. this ain't no comment you know what I mean because yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, when he put that last part of I never have so I never will he's trying to let people know hey I was never standing when it was okay to I was never kneeling when it was okay to get away with it. Like, I was never a part of it either way. 
do it or maybe better. triple down. Say if you don't like it, everybody got their own opinions. Oh, what do you think about that? What do you think about that when people? No, I'm talking. I, mean, I think he's definitely a company <laughs> man. He's hey like, man, you like? I thought he asked you the question. Life, I was like, uh, I was <laughs> but I you think like, he's definitely like, like, like you said. There's rules in jobs. Or you about to go stand on this? We so, would <laughs> <laughs> be like this. He was like, uh, like he's a company man. Like, yeah. he, like whatever my what my boss say, I should think. I'm gonna think that if if Jerry Jones don't want us, then even though it's not against the rules, if he say don't. I'm a don't then. Yeah, probably gonna gonna do the same. I think a lot of people. I, do that. I mean, yeah, of course it come down and come down to that, but I don't know. I, I do every day I'm leaving work. I'm going to leave her. No, I ain't. <laughs> 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 we leave. Do you think do you have a problem <laughs> with this stance uh, though? I, I, I don't have a problem. I understand why he's doing it. I also have a problem. Like, I have a problem with what he's like. How do I say this? I got a problem with him saying it. Like, if. If you don't want, if you didn't want to pick a side, because I was like they forced you to pick a side. No comments. Yeah, should just said no. Comments. That's what I got a problem with. It's him just saying something. I mean, he could just say he doing what he was doing. My earlier stance was he could have just said no comment, but further thinking, he can say what the fuck he want to say. Yeah, <laughs> he ain't got to protest. Like he, if he don't want to protest, man, that's just his personal choice. I, yeah. I'm a big, I'm a big, like I hate group think. Like, I hate that this nigga doing that. We all got to do that. You know what I'm saying? You okay? Yep. I don't like, I don't like how we feel like if this, like, like some nigga shit, like these niggas doing that. Like, the older I get and shit, it, the more hard it is for me to simulate just because black. You know what I'm saying? Like, when niggas was talking about we, uh, we about to boycott <laughs> the NFL last year. I'm thinking, man, I run a fantasy football league. I need to know what's going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't my fucking fight. Like, yeah. I see injustice every day. So if I be like, hey, man, I, I ain't on a football team, but I think we should boycott these fucking Arabics down here at this gas station because they out here, man. They be staring at niggas all crazy, talking crazy. What y'all think about that? Nigga gonna zoom past me and go get some fucking grip You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... I don't yes. feel like I have to rally neither to the Dak. I mean, it might sound like some sucker shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he at work. So what happened when Rosa Parks looks at you? <laughs> you know that's 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 Rosa Park was a plant. That, that, that shit all stayed. That shit all stayed. You had to get to work, man. No, that's the thing. You kill but the they asked him how he felt about his boss comments or whatever. Like, not how you feel about No, he said he ain't protesting. I mean, when it boiled down to it, he said he ain't protesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It came all different to me. Yeah, but I get it. You know, if it's work, it's just work. And I thought he just said he could just say no comment. Obviously. He could. Like we yeah, always yeah. like. I get it though. Like it's yeah. like we always say what we wouldn't do. Like if you're not gonna protest, then say I'm not gonna protest. How many times we like we do shit our jobs that we don't want to do, mm-hmm. but we got we making a living. Like that's what people that's when people talk that boycott shit. Now listen, if it was uniform, where well, I knew for a fact. Yeah, everybody's about to do this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all, because we're going to make a real statement. Yeah. But if I look at this 10 niggas kneeling, the 10 niggas standing, and they replace them 10 niggas. Yeah. <laughs> I need a Jerry took him out to the start of one game and had them all kneel. Listen. Before the end. I showed y'all how you want it done. If I lose That's this job, good. y'all going to find out that all I can do is throw a football and I can't spell punch. <laughs> <laughs> So, That's why niggas in there be like them Mexicans. Y'all seen that video? We should never be like Mexicans. Now, look, you seen that video when they seen them two, uh, they fired them two Mexicans? Yeah. The whole, the whole building. Everybody yeah, walked in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's I because mean. they all rode the same car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck them. That ain't hey, crazy, but I'm going to tell you why they able to do that, though. Because they, they haven't been here for 400 years. They wasn't oh, yeah, brought yeah, over course. here. And systematically broke apart. Yeah, they all right. know each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm not being funny, but they all it's a closer knit. And even they, they don't, they still they weren't they, they weren't forced over here, so they still got their unity and they still have a land that they can go to. That goes way deep. You can get into the fucking what's that fucking book? Uh fucking what is next letter all that bullshit? It gets deep, you know, when you talk about the diversity within black people and shit like that. So that's you know, that's what you call hard comparison, but other than that, you know, I just job, so. But, uh, so if you was playing for the Cowboys now, they ask you how you felt about 
Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones comments, like what would you say? I'm telling on Zeke if I see him kneeling. No, Zeke is kneeling in his room. <laughs> you want me to start tomorrow? <laughs> Look, I'll tell him, man, I'll be like, uh, I'll tell him, man, you know what I'm saying? I'll, this is where I, I, I go and stand. This is what I honestly say, but this is me standing around with the mindset I got now. I'm going to stand, but it don't mean nothing to me. Flag don't mean nothing to me. Flag represent a lot of terrible things, but we get paid by the game. And I can't afford to miss no games. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I would say something more articulate than that. But it, it's like even me saying this, I'm on the outside saying what I would say. You know what I'm saying? It's easy for me to say it now, but I'm not a person that's dictated by money. So it's a little bit different for me. And so I don't know how much Dak need that money. Turn that down. I don't know how much Dak need that money, but the, the the main thing to me is when people talk about freedom to speak, freedom to protest. You also have freedom not to say shit. You have the freedom not to protest. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. It is what it is, man. I just I just don't like how we always act like it has to be one way. Or we have to agree with some shit just because some nigga shit. I I do disagree with coon shit. Mm -hmm. I, and that's Ray Lewis. That's a, he's a, he's a coon. He be on some coon shit. Uh, what's the other boy name on Fox Sports? Jason Whitlock. Jason. He's a coon. Oh, man. These niggas are coon. What I put, I said it would be funny if the uh, NFL presented him with the white suit from Atlanta at, <laughs> at the shrine ceremony. If what? That uh, the NFL would have presented him with the white suit from Atlanta that year yeah, oh, at the shrine <laughs> ceremony. Hell yeah. What? Uh, Damn, what the fuck I was gonna say? Um, what y'all think about? You hear about the uh, Donald Trump? We talking about some motherfuckers oh, yeah. conservative uh, white people. See what happened that tomorrow? I think uh, somebody had uh, had went and destroyed his star at the Hollywood. On Hollywood. They've been doing that ever since he got there. And went and uh, yeah. you know messed his little star up. Pick at. Uh, I ain't got my phone right now. I forgot what they. Uh, but they um, I guess they were voting to. Get it taken, removed. Like yeah. I didn't even put it back. Like we construct that motherfucker. Like I look at they defaced it. Like I don't. Like I don't know. I ain't never been to Hollywood. Anybody ever been out there? I ain't never been out there. You ever been by the stars and shit? Yeah. Like what's the like what's the population? Like how many people are it, walking up and down the streets? It's, it's, it's a lot of people. So and I couldn't understand like from where it looks like where his stars is like in the middle of the, of the block. Yeah. So like how did that person get from the corner? With a pickaxe, man. all the way down to the middle of the block. You know how hard to, it had to be swinging. Uh, no, and like ain't no police in Hollywood. Know, but, his, but his star been there a while, so you know it's kind of like any street or any or any sidewalk has been around. You know, a couple a, a bunch of good. But the thing is, like, it's a lot of people because it's by where the Tim Z tour is. So it's a lot of people over there, and I'm like, how did they get a spot cleared? This man just go to town. Yeah, it's, I was some some white people out there taking up for him, you know what I'm saying? But it's like where the the Hollywood Walk of Fame is, it's it's just weird because there's a gang of people there. Like I said, for him to make it to the corner, wherever he parked it, because there is no street parking right there. So wherever the garage he parked it to come out to walk, he had at least two three blocks to make it all the way to his store, and nobody like say hey. What what he doing? But then again, you do got people dressed up like Spider Man and everything else. So yeah, it's just you like you yeah, just yeah. don't know. You don't know it's a real pickaxe till you see him going to town. And yeah. It's just like uh, you, you seen that mug? Yeah, I seen uh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, but it's like the second or third time somebody went to. But hell, That's the second time. Yeah, they've been defacing his little star since they built a little wall around it one time. <laughs> 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 That tweet, I think that tweet set it off. They like, oh, you want to tweet that? Yeah, you know some. That was some bullshit. That, though. Oh, the tweet that was, was some bullshit. <laughs> he really just saying that, anything. Man, like, he, they know. say he does he not. Read. His old press secretary said the reason, one of the main reasons why he started working with Donald Trump is because he don't read the teleprompter. Like <laughs> they be telling him, like you know, say some shit that's like you know that's not gonna like start a fire. Yeah, say, yeah, yeah. And he just say. Where the fuck he's fuck that teleprompter. Donald Trump, Donald Trump low-key a G. 
Yeah, yeah. He savage. Yeah. Do do. He's like Don yeah. Lemon's the dumbest me. person ever. He made LeBron look smart, which is hard to do. I said, damn. He's funny to me. I mean, yeah. I don't fuck with him or fuck the motherfucker, but he's funny as hell. He says whatever the fuck he wants. He says whatever he wants. And they put him there. They knew he was going to. Like, it's like they. I don't know if they knew he was going to do that or they really thought. They Everything Donald Trump do. do is by design. He ain't surprising. Shit, I tell people all the time that Donald Trump is the boogeyman that they. Got going on, and he's scaring the shit out of people. So the next person they put in, the shit won't look as fucked up. Yeah. And it's just the same shit that happened last time. Uh, the same shit that happened Bush with no. Bush. With Bush is no. How no Jimmy. matter, not how no matter Look. what uh, Bush was doing and shit, like who you put in next gonna be the savior right. with Obama. You know what I'm saying? Why and you they even that shit though, like they ain't doing that shit no more. Why they did what? Why you think they do that? To, Cause when no matter what, as bad as Bush was with that war, cause it was during the time of the war, as bad as it seemingly was, the next president come in and steal all kinds of fucking acts and shit. No matter what Bush is he buzz he pushed, it's gonna be accepted. One, it's cause they think he a nigga. Niggas gonna accept you for no re- for uh you know what I'm saying, just cause gonna be a nigga, then the white people gonna be too fucking you know what I'm saying? Scared to speak out to look racist. Yeah. It backfired because they ain't that tea party shit was about to pop up though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's just America always rearing his head or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? It was. How did you feel about the tweet when you said it? Did you laugh? The tweet, Donald Trump? Yeah. I don't know. Listen, Donald Trump doesn't do anything to cause a reaction out of me. Everything Donald Trump does, man, is calculated. I know how crackers think. He's a racist ass white boy, so they say racist ass shit. So, it, it, it bothered me when niggas get offended at Donald Trump. We've yeah. been dealing with this fucking racism forever. Like, why are we so appalled? Yeah, this is I what he fucking does. Like, so. And now LeBron got the new uh, docuseries on Showtime. Show LeBron stunned. Huh? Yeah, yeah, LeBron stunned. He has a series coming out He's next stunk. month. Real? It's called Shut Up and Dribble. What is it? Like a little docuseries about the influence as far as like athletes oh, in the shit. world and stuff. Man, off the court. Like, what they doing? Off the court, but that 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 Hollywood star shit—I don't even know what that means shit too. Like, what yeah. does the fuck? What does it mean? Like, we gotta get our thing where somebody else saying you good, you did this, and they gave you something, you feel good about yourself. You know what I'm saying? What does Hollywood star mean? Like, these are people who don't give a fuck about you patting you in your back. And you did a good job, nigga. I'm just saying, if we got one, mm-hmm. we got a bad thing where we be clamoring for white acceptance, and that shit is weird to me. Like, when they be talking to Oscars, so why, oh, why they ain't got us at the Oscars? Why they ain't got us at Grammys? Fuck this. Yeah. Like, how does that dictate your day to be accepted by their standards? That shit is crazy to me. Uh, I want to play this real quick, man. This is some shit from uh, the news. I know we got a late storm and shit, so we're going to try to zoom through this one and shit. Um, this this some shit that happened at the black church that caused a riot. I don't know if y'all heard about this. Uh, I can't remember exactly where it was at, like what town or whatever. Um, this has a lot more to do than just politics. New era in Detroit, they call it church accountability. Taking congregations to task for not serving the community in their estimation as those churches should. They say something doesn't add up when a pastor makes a lot of money, drives a luxury car, and yet the people who live near his church are in poverty. <laughs> inside the sanctuary after New Era Detroit protests during a worship service. <laughs> the leader of the group offered no apologies for the dust up at Great Bank Ministry Saturday, only the reasoning behind it. The situation is bigger than just Wayne T. Jackson. This is about black churches and black pastors who live a lavish life on behalf of the people and they're not giving back to their community. He's referring to Bishop Wayne T. Jackson, the wealthy pastor that welcomed Donald Trump, drives a Rolls Royce and lives in a mansion. Zeke was there for the offering Saturday. When they started the offering at a thousand dollars, and then they said if you don't got a thousand dollars, then do three hundred. And if you if you if you don't got if you don't got cash, then we got ACM. <laughs> I don't understand that logic. I don't understand that way of thinking, and I don't understand that to be what religion is. New Era Detroit says the neighborhood surrounding Great Faith Ministries is by and large impoverished. This guy has network churches, fancy cars, you know what I mean, million dollar houses, and it's babies in this community that's going without food at night. Somebody has to be frustrated about this enough to do something that will get people's attention, and that's what New York...
Sassel. Hungry babies. They have welfare. Mm-hmm. Let's just get that out the way right there. There shouldn't be hungry babies and shit. But, not to gloss over the most important topic. This Wayne T. Jackson, he a pastor. This in Detroit. We know that Detroit's been one of the economical hardships for a while now. You know what I'm saying? They, they, uh, the water's still much, fucked up. Pretty much been impoverished since uh, like the General Motors plants left. You know what I'm saying? Um, what, what, what are your thoughts on mega churches? Do you have any thoughts or something? There's a few down south, but I don't. We don't know much about. I ain't never known much yeah. about them other than that. What you hear? They got the money. They do. They do have the money. Clown show. Who do you think clown show? Clown show. Yeah. I, I just know. never knew I could yeah. could uh, buy into it, but. It's like sheep. It's like they are just like sheep to me. And right. It's following me in the costume. You know, that shit is But it, it could be just the title, you know. The title, if you really believe in the title and the role that that person's playing, then maybe you just look at your pastor and say, man, well, my pastor ball and you're nice, you know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. So what if you end up with like a bunch of followers or whatever, like, you know, if your pastor's so good at, uh, you know, spreading the word, and then like everybody just come and come, and then all of a sudden, that's the boom, thing. I now you got like a mega church. Mega churches don't come to those pastors who ain't good at what they do. Yeah. Uh, so I think those who are really good speakers, Malcolm X could have been a, on the Muslim side. He could have been yeah. a mega, yeah, he could. Temple. mega temple. Yeah, yeah, mega right. temple. What would you the say about the really No, I, I said like, um, yeah. what I say, um, yeah. like, well, yeah. the pastor starts small, and then like such a good speaker at what he do and more people start coming here word then boom you got a mega church and the side said like yeah Malcolm X could have had a mega temple cause he had like he delivered his word and he had a lot of followers so like how would you like would you look at that as bad like, I don't think the issue is like the amount of followers I think it's the money the money the money is what the issue is when you yeah. start bilking people like the audacity, like under, like what, what's, the, what's the, how, what gives him the right to ask for money? Yeah, that's that's the thing right there. That's the key thing. And at that, a thousand dollars. And then if you ain't got a thousand three hundred salvation though. Yeah, you which is our you can't put a price on salvation. And but see this, so we have ATM machines. This you, you might not be able to make it home to your next paycheck and get to yeah. But then they tell you to pray. They tell you. We don't pray but until that thing goes beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> they come out, Lord, and they and, and that leads me to this before we get back to the conversation. <laughs> I just got on the IPO budget. If you notice, the air will be on twenty four seven. Sometimes I leave lights on. Uh, if you ever hot, come and stand in my living room. I never turn the air off anymore, thanks to the budget. But uh, back to <laughs> back to this shit right here. Um, how do you feel about preachers asking for money? I, I don't like that shit at all. Like I don't like. Don't ask me a, a dollar amount. Like, it, it, it's different if you say, okay, it's time for tithing offering or whatever. Just leave it at that. Leave it at that. Don't say, yo. Javar, it's, uh, I need y'all to give me a thousand dollars. If you ain't got a thousand, give me three hundred. Like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Well, you should be a building fund, but you should play it. No, 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 no. Hold no. on, this is the thing right here, though. I think if you gonna run this shit allegedly, like you doing by scripture, you should do it by scripture. In the entire Bible, there's no in the entire Bible. There's never an asking for money. All right. For under any listen, under any circumstance, and even when they uh. Talk to Todd's offering shit, me and Javar or something like this off long. Todd and the offering was never money. It was always uh, first fruits and animal things like that. Uh, somebody might say, well, they didn't have, yes, they did. It's always been a currency, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be coins or whatever. Didn't say later on, like, currency you know, change, if you, if you, you don't have this, up, you know, you may want a new church. Term, like, you know, did they ask for cur- not ask for curse, like, how do you? How do you get a new church? How do you, how do you get there aren't churches in the Bible. I know. This is being made. Going, this is being made shit. And the thing with that is, though, even with y'all, stuff, somebody got paid for it because you like that. But listen, that's what you church. just say. You don't trick these people. You don't deceive them yeah. based on the Bible. That's what they're doing. They think they're doing a service for, you know what I'm saying, the most yeah. high. They think they're doing they a service. They get duped into yeah. it being that wild. That, like, don't, don't ask me for a dollar now. Like, don't. I mean, don't ask me for shit. If I can't ask you for shit, don't ask me for shit. If you was the most, the most high was telling you to lead people a certain way, you wouldn't go in that way. 
That's basically how I look at it. It's like, what did you? That shit's crazy. Yeah. It's it's crazy, man. Cause it's like how how gullible black people are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they they don't see the money work for them. They don't like this. The dude is right. He raised the issue of like we living in impoverished neighborhoods. Like you riding around, like you literally riding just by the road and like you got to ride past so many fucking people fucked up. And then you guys uh, the way to present boys, yourself. You know how much them cars? Five hundred thousand. You don't need that. Somebody should rob me. Yeah. He ain't got to ride, meet that nigga in the street. That's what I would have done, you know what I'm saying? Turn them off. Just like that dude, Eddie Long, calling somebody run 10,000 up to him on. Eddie Long, he was fucking boys. He had worse problems. But that's how them big motherfuckers be, man. It's crazy how black people. He could have bought a Camry for like 19. He could have. Kept 400 something. He could have got a fucking job and not bought shit out of the people. You know, help the other motherfucking people. Could have got 400,000, 490,000. That's more than enough money to bless some motherfucker. You can't twerk no more. Shit. I still get busy. Walk right past Gary. You go back to Gary. You go right past This nigga has no fucking coupe. But, uh. What? But, uh, <laughs> but I don't know, man. You said you fucked with Joe Joe Osteen, didn't you? Yeah, I, his books and everything. But I also visited his church several times. Like even when I went, he I don't remember asking for tithing offerings. Like no, that motherfucker's a B R. B R got his money. He probably ain't doing it now. Yeah, he probably selling like. Yeah, but like I don't visit his church. Like, what did you get out of going to Joel Osteen Church? I mean, delivered the word. Like, like what? He, like what point? Like, did you leave her feeling fulfilled? Like he, Joel, he really got me. Like, cause I don't understand. For one, I don't understand sitting there and listening to one of the white people talk about shit. You know what I'm saying? But for one, I mean, just as some Bible says, they not even supposed to teach us about it. That's just based on the Bible. But he teach a. Everybody get along with us. Well, he don't even teach the Bible and shit for itself. It's just weird, man, how not even just... He's more motivational speaking than teaching yeah. the Bible. Yeah. That's, that's and funny. I'm not a type of motherfucker need motivation in the somebody speaking to me. You know? I don't need to feel good yeah. stories. Yeah. You're going off people wanting to be Christian. Most people ain't trying to be no denomination. They just want to be religious and spiritual. Yeah. I'm saying when they go, go into wait, a room and come he out He has a facade. Like He's not coming with a book that says spiritual or no. He come with a Bible. Uh, know, and they present I, the shit I, as Christianity. That's, what you that's how they present the shit. I'm just talking <laughs> about the, what people who are going in there and thinking. They think they're Christians. If you ask anybody going in there, are you a Christian? They, they say, I'm not a Baptist, I'm not a Methodist, I'm just a Christian. That's what they will say. My son think he like burger from McDonald's, but he just want a burger. And that's yeah. what I'm saying, like... <laughs> I hear what you're saying. It's most people going in there, I don't think they really I don't hear a lot of people know going. what you're saying by yeah, the I'm rules here, of Christianity. Yeah. I think they these ain't rules of Christianity. I don't deal with Christianity. Or not even maybe I should I say, say like, like a dying denomination. They going to hear the word. What they what they're not saying, yeah, they're not going to say. Oh, they Christian. consider the right path. It's like you see them people with lifetime fitness. They don't know just because they there. It ain't. They ain't a better gen than of fitness. They're not doing the right thing. You got to be doing the right thing just because you're in the right place. I just, I mean, and that's when it comes to the shepherd. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is yeah. why, if all, for one, you can't uh, dismiss their ignorance and shit. They're adults yeah, making yeah. adult decisions. So you still got to hold them somewhat accountable. Because like I was telling uh, Javar, I said, people, they, they separate themselves from accountability by not actually reading the Bible. 95% of people who go to church do not read the Bible. They read what they told to read, and they'll argue, argue you tooth and nail and shit like they do read it. But... This is like why it's levels and shit to um, accountability. So this uh, guy in Detroit, he, it's, it's, a, it's a nice fire waiting on him. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a nice fire away for him because he's doing so much wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's tension. time, I hope. Huh? I hope it's yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, it's time. But do he seem like right. that motherfucker? I mean, just from that, do you think it motherfucking stop yeah, walk away from that Rolls Royce? Yeah, Rolls Royce. <laughs> Bro, give me the keys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give me the keys. Let me get that house. Yeah. You don't need that beer no more. Keys to the house. Yeah. Garage opener and all. Yeah. It's nine fifty three. Oh, I got. We got seven minutes. I was. I was uh, just zooming past this real quick. Uh, Nicki Minaj's mother. I don't know if y'all familiar with the story of his brother. Her brother. I know you are. Yeah. Her brother's in jail for raping child rape. Yeah. They say he's a pet pedo. Is her mother supposed to uh, hold some kind of interview where she talk about things that people don't know that's going in the court system? 
People always say that uh, child molestation in black community is something that's swept under the rug. Don't nobody talk about. I don't think that's. Yeah, pre- I don't no, think. No. Hold on. I don't think that's privy just to the black community. Yeah. I think it's a lot of motherfuckers don't tell, and it's crazy. And I'm asking y'all two questions first. It's crazy. These questions. Hold like, on. Didn't they for you? Did they pull DNA out the chick? Like his DNA was. I don't know. But he, he's yeah. in prison. Yeah, he's in prison. So they yeah. fucking convict. They convict him. Do if. And we talk about things kept secret. Would you, could you see yourself telling anybody if Uncle Ray Ray fucked in your ass when you were six? I'd have told him when it happened. You would you have said? <laughs> like, but see, I was, hold on, hold on, I was taught when I was younger, like, yo, don't let nobody, man or woman, touch you. You know what I'm saying? Inappropriately. So I was already instilled the train. So if I was touched inappropriately, hell yeah, I'm going to tell. But if you never taught that, <laughs> Of course, you you don't you don't know. Like I said, if you don't know, what can you tell? Like, yeah. it, so <coughs> I think I think I think that for one, it's crazy because it's always somebody close. It's, it's all these t- it's somebody it's always somebody trustworthy who do it. That's the fucking thing about it. Yeah. Um, and the foundation. <coughs> I wasn't ever brought up in shit talking about yeah. town molestation. Yeah. Fortunately. I've never been around nobody who wanted to fuck me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fortunately, I've never had to face that. But, like, I tell my daughter all the time, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody touch you. You know what I'm saying? Because like, yeah. it's always some trust shit. And it's crazy because you don't know who people are. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some let me ask you this with your daughter. Like, when she go to your mother, <coughs> do you say, hey, only your mama should be the one that's why she was. Don't let nobody else. When she go where? Like, when she go to her mother's, like, you know, who bathed you? Like, you can ask those questions. Like, hell no, nah, because I know it ain't, it ain't, that's all right, I understand it. Yeah. Shit, ain't nobody going to rent it. No fucking, I don't even give her baths. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hell no. Nah. But, um, that's one thing, y'all ask. Like, how you respond to that, so? Like, could you? Yeah, I don't know. I ain't never had no. Yeah. Yeah, I never had no. But well, we've been told the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. There's another change. Change, change from everybody. Change in bathrooms. I was like, it's time to practice change in bathrooms. You don't know what, what's going on in these other houses. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well. But I was never told about the females. It was just. <coughs> I was open for seen. female molestation. Yeah. <laughs> I was always open for that. <laughs> Four year old wasn't a blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But look, and that's that's another thing that is never considered molestation. Like women rape me, it's, it ain't frowned upon. Like with no, this, like teachers fucking eighth graders, they women cheating. If, if, if there was a if there was a man, a grown man fucking a, a girl in the eighth grade, oh. you know how he be fucking you. Very you know what I'm saying? But if a woman do this shit, you know what I'm saying? It's different. Like oh, I ain't got anything. But hey, that's yeah. that's one of them things. You know what I'm saying? Unless she's that baseball kid, they locked her up. He waited for it. They be having like a couple chances though. Yeah. Say for instance, like then the situation, this is dude's mother, Nicki Minaj's mother. I don't know how old she is and shit. She, she don't look that day. bad for an older lady. Yeah. She don't look. Nicki Minaj should have started fucking herself up. She should have just stayed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, Cause yeah, she got good yeah. genes. You know what I'm saying? So you I don't can know. tell she got good genes too. Man. Okay, She's no more. She's just flat. Yeah. She yeah, was six o'clock. She's petite. She's yeah. Real petite. Yeah. yeah. Hoodie on. Her. On the porch when my nigga Weezy uh, found her. <laughs> I thought <laughs> Gucci found her. I thought she loved Wiz. <laughs> Gucci found her. She was with uh, Wiz was a young nigga back then, man. That was back before uh, Drake and all that. But yeah. look, we'll talk about that on this yeah. episode. Yeah, look though. I'm, I'm plugged in. This I plugged in. This, <laughs> other, this other part of this no little cap. equation, though. No cap. No cap. It's, a, it's his mother going on the show and shit to speak on. How? What's how, our financial game for it? I don't know. How would you react? That's her son, so shit. I don't even think it's financial. She, I doubt that's financial. She may know her son got it all day, and she think he good. She, if you if you had somebody close to your family and shit, and it's crazy, like how, like just think of the person closest I don't know, to. I don't even know what to say to him. How yeah. the fuck would you feel if they was uh, accused of molestation? Like how would you deal with them? Do you think that change a relationship? I think of the person who's closest to me. No, yeah. they get convicted. Yeah. They get convicted. Ah, be convicted. Ah, yeah. Ain't no relationship no more. You ain't right. Just cut them clean off like that. What if you, what if you said, if even if they was like, uh, if you still kept the nine, 
Yeah, 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 if he, I'll be like, I'll probably be like, man, you probably didn't do it. Just too tell much me love, but that's family. It's too yeah. much love to call them all. I gotta figure out, man, what the hell wrong? With yeah, you, I gotta man. see what really happened. You know, I gotta go to <laughs> I got, like, I'm investigating the deal, so, yeah. like, man, tell me. I mean, truth. realistic. How you did you get put in this say, position? But what? Somebody lied? I knew they lied during our opening case. Listen, you know? yeah. I'll ride with you on a murder. I'll ride with you on a robbery. We can even kidnap a motherfucker. If they got you dead, they're right. Once you get the fucking children and shit, we have no relationship. Yeah, it's I was, crazy, but that's if they got you dead, they're right. I'm saying once Corey did something, I'm saying no Corey did. I'm going to say, man, he's still 18, so I don't know. It might just feel like lowering the bar that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> but if we have indisputable, irrefutable evidence, yeah, yeah. You know, in that case, that's they, what I'm saying. They, right. yeah, so they got you dead to rights. Yeah, I'm saying they got you dead to rights. I'm done. Wow, I might cut for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't even want to have a like conversation. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's all. But you know what? You do. I don't know who he is, yeah, yeah. but you do it. We're going by statistics. Look, yeah, we done hit the 10 o'clock hour. We started late. I'm telling you, niggas are getting more and more. Uh, Independent, independable. Yeah, if that's a word. If that's a word. Right. What you say? Yeah, I, I wanted to sit back down because this is a good. This this is a good point. We got to be able to start on time. And so I know I was, I was here. Was you here? Oh man! Who was that? Who was that? Damn boy! Damn boy! Damn boy! Damn boy! What else you want? What no, you gotta say? No, say master. What you gotta yeah, say? Yeah, I wanna see how you say that. Master. Another fantastic show, like I always say. Late, early is always gonna be fantastic. Thanks everybody for rocking with us. Um, got anything you wanna say in close? I'm out, man. I ain't really got nothing. I'm supposed to have a fight coming up, but shit getting pushed back due to this army shit. You know, they be done with that shit. Man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, shit always happened how it's supposed to. What about you, long time ass nigga? Yeah, look, man, I've been in LA Fitness the last few days, man. Up there at Calcinton, get my hoop skills back. Uh, come check us out. Check us uh, out. Man. Come check you out, nigga. You on a fucking team? Come check who out. <laughs> Man, we got squad up there. Yeah. Right? A lot of Come watch us shoot around. around. Come watch us play 21. Yeah. Yeah. Sign up on the list. Watch we play, play five on five, two court. Winter what time y'all play? Start at 5 30. I said, What time y'all play? I said, What time? Which is going to take us out, nigga. I'm trying well, to check y'all out. We got to sign up on the list. <laughs> 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 we see how many niggas out there. You know. So you got the same team. It sounded cool, man. I felt good. What you got to say, Punch? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was a comment that the. Late person was directed at, and then uh, what Puffy said at the Us uh, Swords of War. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm talking, you and uh, both of you niggas out here late. Uh, I told you I wish I could fire y'all. I, I, I wish I was like, don't come in and fuck up your money. It's my bad, because, you know, my daughter. Vote. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who gets voted? Who gets voted off? You say no democracy. You say no democracy. Oh, man. What would you say, though? Besides, we're through rolling. Come on, you over there taking pictures. Yeah. What are you doing? You think it's about you? Standing, bro. Fuck you and your USA shirt. Y'all not standing? Fuck you and your USA shirt. Yeah. Sure. Oh, I'm going to yeah. be on time next week. You know, my bad ladies. Where that motherfucker at? Hold on. Hold the fuck on. What'd you say? I might go see you. But yeah, man, another fantastic show. Hey. They, they really do me have me feel like fucking David Ruffin and shit during these weak ass temptations and shit. They start to hurt my goddamn back. But look, we get another fantastic show, best podcast you never heard of. Catch us next week on the flip side. Shout out to the producer, Jabbar, Superstar Jones, Assad, executive producer. <laughs> and then Corey. What, and then Corey, GQ Fresh, what is he if you executive producer? Yeah. Our, uh, Female expert. Tune in next week.